Hi, welcome to our lab meeting. I'm Teresa Carvalho and I'm a senior lecturer at La Trobe University in Melbourne. I'm a molecular and cellular biologist and I also have a keen interest in parasites, which means I'm also a parasitologist. So I teach students, undergrad students, and I also do research. I lead a research group on parasitology with lots of talented people that you can see all around in this Zoom meeting. The reason why we're interested in parasites is because they often cause disease in humans and in animals. And we virtually have no vaccines against parasitic diseases. We do have a handful of drugs with which we can treat disease in humans. But what happens is that parasites are very good at developing resistance against the drugs that we have. And sometimes these drugs are toxic, um, they might be costly, um, they might need people to be in a hospital in order to be treated. So there's no doubt that we need to come up with better drugs to be able to treat parasitic diseases, whether in humans or in animals. Overall, our lab stu studies human parasites, like Plasmodium, for example, that causes malaria in humans, and also some parasites that cause disease in animals. On one side, um, what we want to do is to try and better understand the biology of these parasites and to understand how they develop, for example, inside the human body. And with that, we think that we might be able to develop new drug treatments for parasitic diseases using this knowledge to develop these treatments. On the other hand, and this is in regards to the projects that we have about parasites in animals, we know that some parasites that infect some type of animals can sometimes be transmitted to other animals or even to humans. We've seen this, for example, with currently the COVID infection. Now that's not caused by a parasite, it's caused by a virus, but it can transmit, be transmitted from animals to humans. And sometimes that might also be the case with some type of parasites. So we're interested in parasites that cause disease in wild animals, for example, because we know that they potentially can cause disease in livestock. So um, have cause a, a potential biosecurity threat. I might leave it here and now I'll hand over to this um, very um, keen of specialist teams and they will tell you more about themselves and about what they're working on. Hi, I'm Derek and I'm a third year undergraduate student from La Trobe University. Last summer I did an internship in Teresa's lab and I was able to work on a collaborative project between our lab and the lab of Pallavi Sharma, who's also at La Trobe. Dr. Sharma is a chemist and her lab developed new spiral shaped molecules that have never existed or have been seen in nature before. My project was to test these new molecules on malaria parasites and see if they had any antiparasitic effects. I was able to show that two of these new compounds can actually kill malaria parasites, which is very exciting. I think this project is interesting because these molecules don't exist in nature, so we're the first to test them on malaria parasites. Last but not least, they could end up becoming great anti-malarial treatments. Hi, I'm Liana, and I'm currently in the middle of my honours year, and my project revolves around finding new drugs to treat malaria. And Derek just mentioned two of the new drugs that he identified as able to kill malaria parasites. So the aim of my research project is to determine how these drugs actually affect and kill the malaria parasites at a molecular level. With this information and together with our chemist collaborators, we will then be able to rework on these drugs to increase their efficiency. So perhaps in the future, we can produce a new anti-malarial treatment. Malaria parasites are super interesting and complex, which is why I love working with them. Hi everyone, my name is Coralie. I'm French and I came to Australia a bit more than three years ago to do my PhD with Teresa. I studied the interactions between the malaria parasite and its host red blood cell. And in particular, I'm investigating the possibility to repurpose drugs that are already used in the clinic and to test their potential as antimalarials. Another aspect of my research that came up a bit unexpectedly as it often happens in science was to look at red blood cells that are not directly infected by a malaria parasite, but that are affected by the presence of these parasites. So hopefully this will provide us with a better understanding of malarial anemia, which is one of the most common complications in malaria. I love working in science because it's a great mix of constantly learning, communicating, analyzing data, and really exciting hands-on experiments that no one has ever done before. I also want to make a difference, which is why I chose to work on malaria, a disease that still affects so many people worldwide.
I'm Lars. I'm an honors student at La Trobe University. As you might know, the gut plays a key role in health and in disease. I'm particularly interested in studying the relationship between malaria parasites and the gut bacteria. I'll be using a mouse model and DNA sequencing techniques to determine what microbes increase or decrease and how it affects the progression of severe malaria infections. Hi, my name is Jose Guaman, and I am a second year PhD student. My research interests lie in the field of the disease transmission between wildlife and livestock. During the last two years, I have been investigating the presence of parasites in Australian wild deer and wild dogs to determine if they carry pathogens that constitute a risk to livestock. I have recently found that wild animals like deer and dingoes carry parasites that can cause diseases in livestock and even in humans. So it's quite important for us to have this information so we can be aware of potential emerging diseases. Hello, my name is Lily and I'm a third year undergraduate science student at La Trobe studying chemistry and microbiology. I'm working on a project on endoparasites in the Australian wild deer population. This is of interest as we've had a first time detection of a parasite and I'm curious to see what else is present. I enjoy parasitology as it's an incredibly complex micro world right before our eyes. I'm interested to see how it impacts humans, in animals and the world. <laughs> Hi, my name is Corey. I'm a third year undergraduate student at La Trobe University, currently studying genetics and microbiology. The aim of my project is to investigate the intestinal parasites that affect wild dogs in Australia. So this has been a very exciting project as we have found several different parasitic species of the genus Cystoisis flora that have known to infect humans, livestock, and domestic animals. So what drew me to the Carvalho lab was the intricate cellular and molecular mechanisms of parasites that drastically increase the difficulty of treating parasitic diseases. I'm Manon. I traveled from Switzerland to Melbourne to complete a six month project into this lab as part of my master's degree in bioengineering. So, my project is to develop a virtual reality module on seven different human parasitic diseases. This module will be used at the university in undergraduate classes as well as outside the university for science outreach activities. At uni, what students learn in microbiology classes is not always visible. So my VR module will help them in the learning while making it a bit more fun and interactive. Similarly, we will raise awareness in the general public about parasitic disease by showcasing what human parasites look like and how we can diagnose and treat diseases such as malaria. We hope you enjoy learning a little bit more about what we do in the Molecular Parasitology Lab at La Trobe. And if you'd like to know more, please just comment after this video, or you can also follow us on Twitter at lab underscore Carvalho. Thank you for watching. See ya. Bye everyone.